driving on a back road up at camp. It is Wednesday, October 31st, which makes me 32 years old today. So to celebrate, I got Pringles, I got sheets, and I'm hunting for two days. Dad's already up here. He's actually probably already on his way to the stand. Um, I spent last night on date night with my wife for my birthday. It was awesome. Already missed my daughter. Haven't seen her since yesterday when I left. But you know, I drove up early this morning. It's about 6:30, half an hour till uh, till daylight. So I will. I'll spend that half an hour just hiking uh, until I find the spot that I want to hang my set. So I'm gonna run and gun. It's gonna be a good couple days. These will probably be my only all day sets. stick out like a sore thumb but I'm gonna take this afternoon sit and uh, more obs observation than anything you can see down to the bottom don't expect anything from up on top winds blowing out this way so I'm looking more down in through here see if I can catch some movement I'm kind of hungry so we need some Pringles and already decided to climb down and move the stand. I just did not feel confident in that first spot. Um, I climbed down and had a quick look around. I had to go to the bathroom, so just not, not much deer sign through there and virtually no buck signs, so they definitely aren't living there. Um, still a possibility that they'll move through there. I just, I wasn't confident at all in that, so I circled back and then down and through this bottom, and I bumped two turkey, so that was fun, and got about another mile to hike, and I'll get back to uh, a spot that I think will be good for tonight, hoping to get set up by like 12.30, 1 o'clock at the latest, and have all afternoon to sit and wait, so weather's perfect. It's an absolutely beautiful day. So I'm going to enjoy it. Spot number two. I spent most of the day hiking around. 
felt really, really good about. So, this is it. There is a nice rub down here to my right on this trail. And there's a scrape on this path down to the left of us. So, I'm set up. The wind's blowing this direction. So, I have Ozonics pointed that way. Um, <clears throat> I would expect if I get an opportunity, I would guess it would come from this side. guys it is Tuesday evening it's been a long day as you guys have seen on Instagram and Facebook and all that good stuff um, I've had a pretty eventful week so on Tuesday what well, today's Tuesday yesterday morning Monday um, I shot a buck in the morning at 705 hit him really good good hit um, what he did and how he reacted didn't seem normal for the hit uh, that I thought I made I went back out that was at 7.05 I went back out 6.5, 7 hours later at 2.30 to look for him within a certain distance that I thought I would find him and didn't find him so I elected to wait till this morning to go out and I killed him in his bed, probably 750 to 80 yards away, or 70, 750 to 800 yards away, um, still alive. I caught liver, stomach, and diaphragm on the first shot, which was inches off from hitting the lungs. So it's pretty crazy. Um, I'm just thankful I recovered him. Uh, here he is. I'm going to get him mounted so I have the rack. Pretty cool. Uh, I believe he's three and a half. I need to pull his jaw in the garage and see for sure. But um, kind of my goal and target for my property was a three and a half year old. And I saw that big Y coming through the woods today or yesterday morning. And I had to shoot him because I thought he was pretty cool, pretty unique. So I did. But uh, the funny thing is, is on Sunday, I got pictures of the one and only Widowmaker. And he's live. So that's very cool. Um, I'll plug the pictures in this vlog so you guys can see. But you can actually see his, the arrow still in him. So my best get was he... He dropped so hard on that shot, which you can see in slow motion, and turned, putting all this weight on that left front. The broad had literally slid down his scapula and dug into the spine of the scapula. And I believe it's just, it's just buried in there and won't come out. So his body looks good, he looks healthy. Uh, hopefully Finn can catch up with him in rifle season or my dad can kill him. Uh, that would be my ultimate goal. If not, hopefully he makes it through the winter and into next year. And I get a crack at him next year, which would be a really cool story. He'll be four and a half next year, so that would be awesome. But either way, I, I kind of hope somebody gets him. Uh, I hate to see deer suffering. 
unfortunately it's been a bad year for me with that but um gotta stay persistent keep your head up keep driving um you know i've been relatively successful with a stick bow and and uh i just kind of kept that in the back of my mind is you know you've been you've been here before but uh you haven't been this low you haven't had this many um negative things happen in one year so Keep your head up if you haven't been successful or you're struggling to make it happen. It will happen for you. Just take some persistence and uh, some smart thinking, some smart smart moves on your part uh, to make it happen. So I will be headed to Virginia to hunt with my good friend Nathan Killen um, next Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So I'm going to leave Wednesday night after work, hunt all day Thursday, all day Friday, and all day Saturday down in Virginia with him. So I'm pumped for that, stoked for that. I'm going to try to vlog more for you guys and actually document like I should since I kind of got the the weight lifted off my shoulders with this buck uh, here in Pennsylvania because it, it's been a rough season for me. But um, I'm going to be hunting for whitetail and bear down there with my stick bow. So I know the last day I leave is a rifle season, so I might even, t I might even take my rifle just for just for uh, kicks that last day um, if we're not having much luck. So one last thing, my good buddy Aaron Emhoff uh, killed a great buck last week. And I know our vlogs can get sometimes boring with just Mark and I talking. So enjoy this footage because he did an awesome job once again. He's a killer with a stick bow. Um, had a fun hunt. You actually get to see his excitement in the hunt. Uh, this buck kind of caught him off guard right before he was getting ready to rattle. And uh, he, he made an absolutely perfect shot on this deer, turned the camera picture perfect. Make sure you stick around to watch. Here's his video. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Me.
<laughs> I just picked up the rattling horns, the rattle. Turn around, there he was. I think he's down right there. I can ring that thing. Come on, bud, you gotta help. Go with daddy. You gonna find the buck cable? <laughs> All right, let's go. There's blood already. It's bleeding already. So now what we have to do, you see how you see the blood? Mm -hmm. It's got to fall on it. See, there's daddy there. Bring the Yeah, we gotta keep following the blood now. Huh? Yeah, you see a crack way down here, bud? Yeah. Crack down through here. Daddy, you want to go ahead? There's a bunch of water right there. Do you want to go ahead? Okay, there's a bunch of water going down over here. Say hi, Amelia. Let me see. Can you see him? Uh, huh? You yeah. see him lying down there in the tech bottom? He's hard to see. Huh? I can just see him through the bushes. Come on. Here. I'll zoom in on him. You don't see him yet? Oh yeah, he's a good deer. Good deer. That's a big deer.
Kevin's coming down here with the baby on his back. <laughs> Congratulations. It's a big body. Let's say he broke that offside leg. Hey, well, pick up, pick up the horns, buddy. Grab it. Cut up. An eight point. I never saw that buck before. It's not the buck I thought it was. No. <coughs> what do you think, buddy? Yeah? <sighs> Snap some pictures of it. I'm going to stop recording. It's, uh, Get him set up there. Yeah. Right there. I won't be able to see anything because I've got my headlamp on, but camp is right over there. Let me go. There's our hunting camp. Dad's car. I just got all my stuff thrown together. Time to walk back in. Left my stand said it was supposed to rain today, which it's calm, and so I'm gonna take my time, be as quiet as I can, circle back around, and uh, climb up this st stand over top of that scrape and, and rub, and we're just gonna hope for the best. So wind's not really good for this spot, but we got Ozonics to hang. Let's see. It's actually, if it stays like this and doesn't bring it, it's a, it'd be a beautiful day, so looking forward to it. I also realized that I forgot my tab, so back in the camp we go. Oh, the story of my life. I spend a half an hour looking for my freaking tab and it's laying in the grass outside, so I'm going to be late getting to the stand, but at least I'll have a tab, yay. I'm about 300 yards from the stand, so... Now's a good time to cut loose some coffee and uh, start sneaking. So, losing that tab cost me about 15, 20 minutes. In frustration, I said half an hour, but it's the things that you can control that you need to be able to control. And I had just had it strung over the top hook there, my tab, and then when I walked out to my car to grab my food, it went bye-bye. So, it happens. Actually, every day I feel like I'm forgetting something or losing something that costs me extra time. So I won't get in the stand as early as I had hoped, but it should be fine. We're going to walk off on this direction and hopefully not scare everything in the world.
Stand that buck walked through. Little spike. Maybe next year, brother. Thursday, hopefully, and that'll be the day that I gotta get it done. So.
bike work in first light, and then that six point came in behind me. It's been a fun sit. I've got to open the shop at 10, so got to climb down around 8.30. I have to run a deposit to the bank before work. Would be a beautiful day to sit all day. Snow's coming down. It's cold. It's wind chills mid-20s. I think 30 is what the thermometer is.
Hey, what's up guys? So it is a Wednesday after season and this is what we typically do on my day off. Juliet and I are hanging out. Um, watching Barbie Rock and Royals, which is the uh, probably hundredth time we've seen it and danced and sang to it. But I'm editing the vlog from the past two weeks and I got to this place in the vlog and I feel like I needed to uh, explain what happens next. So last day of season, um, had that five point, the, I had a shot opportunity at that buck. Um, he had, in the unit that I hunt, it's three up on a side in order for him to be legal. And I'm gonna go so that we don't have to listen to that music. But he had three up on his left side. I think it was his left side. But the one tine was just not high enough. I don't think it was quite an inch. Um, and so I wasn't gonna take that chance. Um, and then uh, had that eight point walk down behind me that the ledge just kind of drops off real quick. And uh, there's a trail that they like to work out through there. So he worked, I grunted at him, um, got his attention and he looked like he was gonna start coming, but then he stopped and uh, just kept working out the way that he was going. Um, and that was about it. That spike uh, is by that stand just about every time I hunt. So I've got him figured out. Um, I'd be a great spike hunter, but apparently not anything else. And so I was decided before season started, I decided that I wanted to hold on to my doe tag. Um, second season last year, I had a blast. I, I did end up killing that eight point sparkles. Um, hunted really hard. It's not as busy for my business in January, so I get a little bit more time that I can cut loose and spend time in the woods um, versus um, this time of year being in retail. Gets pretty, pretty ridiculous for me. But um, climbing down, uh, done with my season, and I'm walking back to the house and out the trail about 100 yards, I catch movement and uh, didn't see anything on her head fully expected it to be a doe. So with this uh, 14 millimeter lens and no tripod, I set it up on the uh, my camera bag and uh, got in position. Yeah, babe. You need me? All right, give me one second. I just want to finish this story. Is that okay? Is that okay? All right, I'll be right in. Um, Oh, what did you draw? The remote. It's all good. I'll be right in. Okay. Um, so, anyways, I just I felt like I had enough time, and where there are the pine trees, um, they kind of lay out, and so I knew I could kind of get tucked back in to where she walked across. Um, she would have to be beyond me before she'd be, have eyes that she could see me. Uh, so I just set the camera up and uh, got in position and I was going to use my doe tag, um, but it turned out a little bit different. Watch this.
my daughter brought me a balloon to hold. But as you can see, that would have been such a cool experience to take a doe like that on the ground. Um, unfortunately, it ended up being a three point. And that was my season. I walked home, got ready for work, and went into work. Um, had an absolute blast. If you enjoy these vlogs, really appreciate it. Um, have a blast putting them together. Uh, we just kind of share what we have going on. We aren't in the woods a week at a time, 24 hours a day. Um, so the content is based on our experiences. So hopefully you can relate to that um, throughout the whole year that we put these out. Um, so rifle season's coming up, which I will be up at camp first day of rifle season. Uh, I will probably take my rifle um, just because it's a, it's a camp trip and uh, I, I have two tags in my pocket for second season. So if, I, if a buck would happen to walk out and uh, I get an opportunity at it, I'd be able to use one of my tags, put some meat in the freezer and still be able to hunt second season. So that was the goal was to have a tag for second season. I've accomplished that goal. Although the only thing that I killed all year was a squirrel. If you enjoy these vlogs, hit that subscribe button. Feel free to comment if there's anything that you'd like to see. Now that we're between seasons, we'll have some time. Uh, if there's anything you're interested in us doing as far as gear reviews, um, if you have questions that you'd like us to comment on, feel free to hit us up with a comment in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button, and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.